funniest thing how the devil dissects things, isn't it? Because when Brother Barry was talking, he said, I smoked cigarettes and I was an alcoholic. But when he come to Christ and he started paying his tithing to the Lord, do you know where did them cigarettes go? Where did all that beer he drank go? How much money was he spending a week in cigarettes and beer and party and, and and the devil didn't point any of that out to him. Isn't that amazing how the devil speaks a certain thing to point out? It, it, he probably traded a thousand dollar a week habit for uh, whatever little bit you know that you give back. It, I'll tell you what, I'd lot rather give mine to the Lord. I'd lot rather give mine to the Lord. Amen. That's right. You know, um, I, uh, I, I thank God for the life he's given us. But Brother Barry and I have had some very supernatural experiences with God. You know, uh, one time that I know for sure that I saw a man raised from the dead, Brother Barry Johnson was standing right beside me. And Zachariah, wherever he's at this morning, Zach was standing on the other side of me. And we were standing over the body of his pastor, Brother Ken Boyer. And Brother Ken was laying there. He had just had a serious, serious four-wheeler accident. And he was laying there, and he was breathing. Uh, he, he, you know, I, I, it, it was just a gasp. And then all of a sudden, the gasp stopped. And Brother Barry looked over at me and said, Brother Wayne, what are we going to do? We didn't have no phone signal. We couldn't call in an ambulance. There was no medical staff. And I looked at Brother Barry. I said, Brother Barry, God has so arranged things that the only thing we can do is call on the name of the Lord. And Barry and I and Zachariah and uh, Logan Boyer reached down and put our hand upon Brother, Brother Ken. And I said these simple words. I said, Lord Jesus, you've arranged this so we have no one to call but you. This is a pastor, and his congregation needs him. God, would you give his life back to him? And the man started pulling a breath. It's like you could hear, it's like breath just came back in. And he stood to his feet from, from that and immediately stood to his feet and started worshiping the Lord. Now, there's a witness. And there's another witness. And I, was it six years? Did Brother Ken live six more years? Seven, six, seven years? Brother Ken passed away within maybe a week of the exact date, six or seven years later in August. You know, the Holy Spirit gave that, that, that family grace and, and did it. But, you know, um, I tell you this, you want to take him with you wherever you go. Whether you're fishing or riding a four-wheeler or whatever you're doing, you want to take him with you. Amen. And I, I uh, have been so blessed for our relationship with Brother Barry. And how many will pray for him?